Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? This is Zach Dan, back with another every WWE video. This time we're talking about every Mattel Ultimate Edition. So if you're missing any of your Ultimate Edition WWE figures, get on out to Big Bad Toy Store, search WWE Ultimate, and you'll find a bunch of these figures out there in stock or for pre-order, so you can fill in some gaps in your collection maybe. Check out the card up above or the link in the description. So Series 1 released in 2019 by Mattel was two figures of Ronda Rousey and the Ultimate Warrior. So here's Ronda Rousey in her package with all those different head sculpts, the jacket and arms that you can swap out there, hands, and the Rowdy Roddy Piper skirt there. There he is, close. she is close up, smiling, angry, got her hair in braids. There's her gear off, all the different accessories. And next, in wave one, you have the Ultimate Warrior here with that soft goods jacket. One face sculpt with the paint on, one with it worn off. Different hands there. There's a nice shot of the face paint worn off. He's always very colorful with his gear. There's the back of the jacket, different angles there. Here lies NWO. Series two is Breath the Hitman Heart and Shinsuke Nakamura. So here's Bret Hart with his glasses. You can see it in package there, three different head sculpts. Again, the arms I can swap out. The jacket there and the hands. You're just coming out of the entrance, that's awesome looking. Nice close up and there he is from the rear. And here is that Shinsuke Nakamura from the Ultimate Edition here. Again, three different head sculpts. Swap the arms out. All the different angles here. Jacket on, jacket off. Posed up. Series three is your Finn Balor Demon and your Triple H. So here is your Demon Finn Balor. All painted up with that Venom S tongue coming out of his chest there. Got the soft goods cape around him, the wig that you can put on top. This time only two different head sculpts. But there he is with the gear on and off. And a close-up. And here is that Triple H, which is sledgehammer, his hat, three different head sculpts. Got that chain mail, the championship belt, the bottle of water. Really nice looking. And series four is Brock Lesnar and Shawn Michaels. And these came out in 2020. So here's that Brock Lesnar, three different head sculpts. Got the soft goods suplex city shirt, championship belt, different hands. And he's also got that cap to go on his head. And there you see that. Back of the package as well. And then here is Shawn Michaels with his ring attire, two different head sculpts. From the back side, you can see that ring attire, Heartbreak Kid. And there's the back of the package showing the figure off and also Shawn in action himself. Series five, it gives you Becky Lynch, or Becky Two Belts, and then John Cena as well. There's Becky in package, there's her two different belts. Again, the arms switch out. There's the back of the package, the man. And 
And there's a close-up of the two belts and the other head. Here's that John Cena and package, three different head sculpts, got the hat as well, the championship belt, soft goods shirt, got the dog tags around his neck. You also got the bands on his arms as well, so that's pretty cool. Series 6 is your Charlotte Flair, which is an exclusive, and your Rock. So here's Charlotte, got her soft goods gown there, two different head sculpts, one smiling, one regular. There's from the back, you can see Flair and a peacock. There's the side and the back of the package. And here is The Rock with his championship belt, three different head sculpts, soft goods, Brahma Bull shirt, a pair of glasses, a microphone. There's the glasses on, got those nice sideburns. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. There's the back of the package, side of the package, people's eyebrow. Series 7 is The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and Hollywood Hogan, NWO. So there's The Fiend in package, two different head sculpts, got his championship belt. Again, the arms swap out, so the jacket can work with it as well. You can see it there with the jacket and then with the regular arms. Front and back of the figure there. Side of the package, showing that championship belt off there as well. Here's Hollywood Hogan on the front here. Got his boa, soft goods NWO shirt, Hollywood do-rag there. He's got his workout belt, three different head sculpts, his NWO spray painted belt, and his sunglasses. There he is with the sunglasses, the do-rag, the NWO belt, or the workout belt, I should say. Got those nice painted boots too, look at those things. There's the side and the back of that package. And Series 8 is Edge, this is 2021, and Macho Man Randy Savage. So there's Edge in package, got the crazy head screaming there, arms swap out, you got the big old jacket as well. There's the jacket on, the regular head sculpt. There he is with the jacket off, and also the screaming head sculpt. Rated R Superstar. Then here is your Macho Man Randy Savage with his cowboy hat, his sunglasses, two different head sculpts, soft goods, Macho Man, oh yeah, jacket. There he is with it all on, back of the figure, close up, Macho Man. All the gear there. And then Series 9 is your Ric Flair and your Stone Cold Steve Austin. So here's your Stone Cold, Championship Belt, Austin 316, Soft Goods Shirt, Microphone Necklace, different head sculpts, back of the package there. There's his hat on his head, talking through the mic. All his gear, got the vest on, the t-shirt on, got those nice knee braces on his legs as well. And here is your Ric Flair, the Nature Boy. Woo! Got that same pink like Charlotte has. Got his championship belt, styling and profiling. Side of the package, back of the package. Nice. So next we have an Amazon exclusive fan choice with Hulk Hogan and Jeff Hardy from the Ultimate Edition. So here's our Hulk Hogan from WrestleMania number nine. Got his shirt he can rip off, his championship belt he won, his do-rag on his head, three different head sculpts, multiple hands. Not a bad looking Hulk Hogan figure. Got that classic yellow and red workout belt as well. And again, it is from Fan Takeover on Amazon. Love that shirt, you got the rips in the back, you can rip it off in the front. Hulkster on the uh, workout belt as well. Red knee pads. And then here's your Jeff Hardy from SmackDown 2008 with his championship belt. Got the sleeves on his arms, the paint on his face. 
soft goods shirt on his chest there, tattoos all over his arms and hands, the necklace, extra hand sculpt you can switch off, the little rag hanging off his side, an extra head sculpt as well, screaming, again Amazon takeover, and it's cool he's got his fingers that he does his posing with, so that's awesome. And here's the back of the package for both those figures. Some of Tail Creations has given us an exclusive STCC 2021 for an ultimate edition of Sergeant Slaughter. And this comes on one of those old classic looking cards with the clamshell. It does come with a collector's box as well that it comes in. Accessories are included inside. You see the whistle, the hat, the glasses. It says USA on his chest. It does come with the military vest, which I'm assuming is hidden down at the bottom of that little section of the clamshell. Again, with that box, you can see how that looks. It'll slide up in there. And here's just some different looks for Sarge. He has his mouth kind of open, his mouth closed. He's got his fisted hands, his open hand to be able to salute. And there it is, sliding in the box there. You can see it. Uh, he's in the crowd. You got, I am a maggot, a tin hook. Some of the famous sayings he'd say. And then guys, guess what? There is a variant of this Sergeant Slaughter as well. And here it is. Got the darker card, same exact figure, just a variant of it. There's the back of that card. Showing all those other ultimates behind him. And again, with that card inside the box itself. And there you can see him with his hat off. You can see the uh, balding look he's got there at the top of his head. So Mattel Creation is doing some pretty cool stuff here. And there's that box from the back side. It just says WW on it. And then Series 10, not released yet, coming out 2021, is your John Cena and The Rock. So here is The Rock from this Wave 10, WrestleMania 29 look. New butterfly joints. It's going to come with his new title belt with the Brahma Bull side plates. Got his soft goods shirt and his microphone, three different head sculpts, four different sets of hands. Seeing from the back, from the front with the belt on him, talking on the mic. Got the raised eyebrow on that middle look. Then you got your John Cena from WrestleMania 22. Again with the new butterfly joints. Got this hat, his soft goods shirt, his belt. With a spinner in the middle there, it looks like. Three different heads. And three different sets of hands. Hustle, loyalty, respect on the shirt. Nothing on the back of the shirt. He's got that necklace as well. I guess with the dog tags. So we've got a nice close up of both figures with their shirts on. So then we've got a little sneak peek of an Ultimate Edition Alexa Bliss with two different head sculpts. So that'll be a good one. That was definitely on my wish list. Here's our Ultimate Edition Dave Batista with his championship belt, multiple hands, three different heads. Got the SmackDown and Raw clipboard there. And this is only going to be available at Target. And he does come with a soft goods shirt that says The Animal. Then we got Series 11 with The Undertaker and Kane. Those are up for pre-order on Big Bad as we saw earlier. Get out there and get those ordered if you want to. Link in the description. So here's our cane figure, got that nice cape on, two different head sculpts, two different sets of hands. Doesn't come with a lot of accessories for him to be an ultimate. But that cape is different, definitely. 
So here's Kane in his package, Ultimate Edition. You see his cape that he's got, two different head sculpts. He's got his voice box there as well, different hands, and the championship belt. So there's his belt on his waist, got the voice box talking there. I do notice that in that elbow when he bends it, you see a lot of white skin underneath there instead of it being painted red. That bugs me. But you can see him uh, with his hands open there. You see his bringing up the explosions there from the back side of the figure and with the cape on. It's a really awesome cane figure. Definitely one I needed and wanted. And we got our Undertaker figure. Big old huge gown on, different hands, three different heads, one with the tongue out and the eyes rolled back. There it is from the back. You can definitely take the robe off and have the regular Undertaker as if he's in the ring fighting. And there's the robe by itself. Close up of the face on the Undertaker. So here is Undertaker in his package. Three different head sculpts. Got that big old cape thing that he's got, different hands as well. I love the face sculpt with the tongue sticking out, that's awesome. And the look of both those other head sculpts are so different. Hair back, hair hanging down, so cool. There he is with the cape, holding his arms up as if he's gonna do the explosion as well. Big old elbow pads on, big gloves on, UFC gloves. Got the tongue out, tattoos on the arms, there's the cape from the back. And then here is the back of both Kane and Undertaker's package. Seven foot Kane, parts unknown, tombstone, WWE champion. And then on Undertaker, six foot ten, Death Valley, tombstone, and WWE champion. Right, then we got an ultimate ultimate warrior figure two different belts two different head sculpts one without paint set of hands and this is another amazon fan takeover exclusive and you got your triple h three different head sculpts the bottle of water the hat the t-shirt multiple hands and again it will be an amazon exclusive fan takeover so those are pretty cool figures as well got the dx shorts on the um, triple h so here's the Ultimate Warrior, second time he's been in this Ultimate line. Two different belts. Got the face paint on one, not on the other. There's the back of the package for the fan takeover Ultimate Warrior here. WrestleMania 6. There's those belts. Got the orange gear on, the chest all painted up as well. Both belts around his shoulders. Nice looking figure here. Holding up both belts, you can see the figure from the back. All right, so next we have the animal himself, Dave Batista. Got his championship belt. Got two clipboards here, one for Raw, one for SmackDown. All kinds of hands, up, down, thumbs. Three different head sculpts. Got the soft goods, the animal shirt. There he's in package, front and back. This has got the red package on it. Got the fisted hands, eyes closed as if he's doing his entrance. Tattoos all over the back and arms, thumbs down like I said, all these accessories. Then we have an Alexa Bliss. And this is her kind of with the Bray Wyatt look, dark eyes and everything. So she's got this extra piece that's going to go over her like an apron. And then the sock is like a little tutu stuff. Two different head sculpts. Two different sets of hands. There she is front and back. This is the white packaging. But yeah, she got your regular face sculpt here. Again with that apron. Next we have Bray Wyatt, which is the Fiend again. This is pretty much the same figure, except it's just uh, got the black sleeves this time. This is Series 12 along with Alexa Bliss. 
front and back. Get that mask on. All sides of that figure. Alright, so Mattel Creations did a project, a fan backing project, crowdsourcing, whatever you want to call it, uh, where they did a ring. Classic World Wrestling Entertainment ring. It's just WWF actually, but they went World Wrestling Entertainment. And it had a diesel figure that you were going to get first. Also had the ring entrance, the stairs, all that good stuff. You can see the stairs, which can actually break apart. Diesel with two head sculpts. He is an ultimate figure. Will have his own card. Got the ring ropes, the padding on the side and everything. The curtain entrance there. So notice the size is WW on it. We'll see something different here in a second. There's a nice up close look at what Diesel looks like. The ring does remove the top there so you can see the wood planks underneath it as well and all the structure. And there's your scale compared to what Diesel is of what the entrance looks like. And then also we unlocked Doink the Clown. So Doink the Clown is going to get his own ultimate figure along with a package. Three different head sculpts. Soft goods jacket there. Hammer, extra hands. And then you see right there on the side you have extra uh, ring aprons there that you're going to be able to get in your house and WrestleMania aprons. So that's a cool unlock as well. So there it goes with the WrestleMania curtain on it. In your house on the side. And the rendering of what they look like in their packages. And then we unlocked one more exclusive bonus for early backers. You get the Macho Man or Randy Savage announcer with his table, his chairs, his terminals, or his uh, consoles, whatever you want to call them, and microphones, also the headset. So they showed off what Doink and Diesel and the Ring will look like here at one of the uh, panels. Not sure which one this was. But there's also your Macho Man with his hats. There is a him actually in package. And loose. So they've got the glasses as well. Without the glasses, no hat on. Crazy looking hair. And of course the soft goods that you can take on and off of him. Of course, the table can take these soft goods little um, cover off of it and just have a regular table. So here's the WD Ultimate Edition New Generation Arena. Mellow box in package from Mattel Creations. Back of the package showing Doink and Diesel. And here is Doink in package from all angles. And loose with that soft goods, different head sculpts. And without a soft goods zone, again, even more head sculpts. You get your diesel in package here. Kevin Nash. All angles here. And from the back with his leather vest on, mouth wide open. Then another Macho Man coming out here. Madness here. Three different head sculpts, the glasses, the bandana for his head. He got his belt, soft good shirts. Tongue sticking out, it's funny. Here's the official images of it. In package.
And then we shut off some more of these ultimates here. We got Goldberg, Hogan and Mr. T. We got uh, Triple H, HBK, and Roman Reigns showing off here. So let's go over some of those. Nice close up of that shot. So you got to choose which Amazon exclusive Goldberg wanted. Would you want 98 WCW, WWE 2003, or Old Man Goldberg now? So the choice was made and we went with the WCW. So he's coming with his United States Championship and his, his uh, WCW Championship. Extra hands, three different head sculpts. One where he's actually breathing out the smoke at the entrance. We also have a Triple H. Sorry about this picture. But the DX Triple H. Showing off here for the first time with his hat on. And here's the official. Got the bottle of water, three different head sculpts. Get the renderings of your Mr. T and your Hulk Hogan from WrestleMania 1. This is Wave 13. There's the official. Official Mr. T got the hat on, Hulkamania shirt. First time in package here. There's the back of it. Different head sculpts, the belt he's coming with. Mr. T and his. And these are in targets at this time. The re-released Ultimate Edition Wave 4 of Brock Lesnar and Shawn Michaels for some odd reason. But then you get your fan takeover for Shawn Michaels here as well. Red packaging. These are usually Amazon exclusives for the fan takeovers. Got his hat on, red gear, earrings hanging down. Two different head sculpts you can put on him. With and without the earrings. Sorry, three different head sculpts I guess. Then you got your Bloodline version of Roman Reigns, Tribal Chief, WWE Belt, got the red glove on his hand. Got the lay around his neck. And then Jeff Hardy released at the same time, Wave 14. So it's front and back of that package. Nice tattoos on his arm and back and chest. Hair back, hair down. Then you get your Jeff Hardy here from 2003 look. Blue face paint, short hair. Got his t-shirt. The sleeve thing up his arm. The shirt hanging down his side. kind of love those videos those were awesome got you no holds bar two pack here with hogan and zeus came from mattel creations sdcc 2022 looks like a video cassette got them staring at each other through the window there's hogan 
There's Zeus. I can get that rip shirt on. He's got his belt, his headband, extra hands, extra heads. Zeus with his headband, extra heads, extra ring gear. So there's the front side, back of that package. Outside package, I should say, mailer box. There's the inside of it, front side and back. Other side. There's the cassette tape from all sides. And then as you open the cassette tape, you can see them standing in there face to face. That's what the label says for No Holds Barred. Got a little stand there, like a ring or something, I don't know. Got the WTN in the background with the ropes. All his accessories, all Hogan's accessories, Hogan from all sides without his shirt on, Zeus from all sides without his shirt on, Hogan with his shirt on, Zeus with his ring gear on. There you go. Rip vs. Zeus Mattel Creations Ultimates 2-Pack. Alright, then we got some more reveals at SDCC 2022 display with a 2-Pack, another 2-Pack with Hogan and Terry Funk. Also a new show of a new Ultimate Warrior and Bret Hart. So we get a reveal here that we're getting Bret Hart and The Rock, which will be available at Target. So here's your Bret Hart figure. Three different head sculpts, extra hands, the glasses, the jacket. And here's a rendering of the Rock figure with three different head sculpts. Extra hands, the microphone, and glasses. Next we got Ultimates of the Ultimate Warrior, Barack Lesnar with his new look here in 2022. And then we have AJ Styles. So here's your AJ Styles with three different head sculpts, one with the wind blowing in his hair. For the first time in the line, Ultimate Jeff Jarrett. How about that? Got one with the JJ hat on. Two different two other head sculpts. Not much difference to, between those two. Extra hands. Just a rendering here. And now this Ultimate Jeff Jarrett is canceled, probably because he went to AEW. And then we got our Ultimate Mattel Creations version for Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare. So there's his crazy looking packaging, American Nightmare. Three different head sculpts, a belt for it says Nightmare on it and extra hands. And it says Dream on his chest. I don't see a neck, much of a neck there, but you would think his neck right now would have his, his American flag tattoo on the side. Here's that Goldberg we talked about a long time ago. Got the breath coming out. Got his two belts. Here is that Hogan Terry Funk 2-pack Coliseum Collection. Showing off at SDCC. It's going to be Mattel Creations. And there's what they look like on their cards. And their extra head sculpts and hand sculpts. And Terry with his crutch, I guess that's what that is. Alright, so here's some more shots of them actually in packaging. Somebody's home. Nice up close shot. In action here, going against each other. On the ring. Hogan with his white gear on. The belt, the flag. Knocking other wrestlers out. Terry with his cane or his uh, crutch, his hat, his gear on. Got the extra hands, extra hands, and the accessories there with soft goods. In 
the ring against each other. Wielding his crutch. It's front of the box. Back of the box. Front of Hogan. Back of Hogan. Front of Funk. Back of Funk. And you can see Slaughter's on there as well. So yeah, awesome figure here with Hogan. And Funk. Angles of the box. And then we have an Ultimate Attitude Era ring here coming with a Ultimate Edition cane. Back of the box there. Raw is War. Kane comes in his own box. Front and back of it. There's the figure in action. The ring itself. Kane standing in the ring. Got the steps over on the side. Some more shots of Kane himself with the flames on. Looking awesome. And then Ultimate's Edition 15 with Brock Lesnar Ultimate Warrior. Alright, so here are these Series 15 figures of Brock and Ultimate Warrior. Warrior from the back. Nice artwork there. Looking really good. Got the face paint on and face paint off versions. Nice shorts again. Got the tassels everywhere. Nice up close shot of the face. And on and off with the wardrobe there. Ultimate Warrior. Then you got your newer version of Brock Lesnar here holding both belts. Three different head sculpts, multiple gloves. He's got his crazy hair he's got nowadays. Nice up close shot of the head sculpts. Both belts on his shoulders. From the back, you see the tattoos and the hair, ponytail. Alright, so our Coliseum collection has revealed another wave. This is technically wave three, I guess. And Slaughter was the first one, Hogan and Funk was the second one. So you got your elite Jake the Snake Roberts and Ravishing Rick Rude. Coliseum series. Two pack here in box. There they are loose. Got the soft goods bag for Damien and robe for Rick Rude. Nice up close shot of both of them. We also have the ultimate edition of Razor Ramon here. Scott Hall. Two different versions, yellow and purple. There it is from the back. You can see Razor Ramon on the black of the vest, back of the vests, both of them. And the razors on the back of his shorts. It's coming with a belt, it looks like maybe. Necklace. Here's the AJ Styles ultimate figure. Got him a soft goods hoodie. His gloves will come together and say phenomenal one. And then they're doing a Mattel Creations Logan Paul possibly. If it gets backed. Multiple head sculpts there. Got his pass around his neck, his sunglasses, his jacket. Some renderings of what this could look like. With the jacket on and off. Got the bandana around the top of his head with his long hair and his beard. There's the jacket itself, the press pass, and the glasses up close. And then a nice up close shot of the heads. Again, this is just rendering. And we'll see what happens with Mattel Creations and if this gets backed. There he is from the back. So as a wish list or most wanted list for Ultimates, here's my first set. Let's go old school with China, Eddie Guerrero, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. How about Mankind, Lita, and Dusty Rhodes? I know Chris Jericho is in AEW now, but I'd definitely love to see Chris Jericho in his old school styles. Sting again, AEW, but I'd love to see Sting. Roddy Piper, Andre the Giant especially. Kurt Angle, Booker T, Trish Stratus. That's old school. Let's talk about what's going on right now. As my wish list or most wanted, I'd love to see Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, Braun Strowman, especially now that he's back. 
Rey Mysterio Jr. and Drew McIntyre. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.